Okay. <laughs> hey folks, my name's Alan Parks. And I'm Mark Larson. Right, and we, we are, are the Smart, smart Fellers. <laughs> hey, today we're gonna talk about well, we're gonna we're gonna sort of play a little game. A little game. Um, a painful game. A painful game. Mark's hating this. Um, I'm in pain here. What we're gonna do is um, like most people who play a lot of music, uh, we have a lot of instruments each, right? So, um, yeah. How many how many guitars do you have that you use? I I have I have nine or so, but I have like seven that I use on a regular basis. Right. Probably three that I use mostly. Yeah, the favorites. Yeah. Yeah, right. the core, and and I've got um, and I've got uh, five electric basses, two uprights, and three tubas that I use for various things. Um, the game we're going to play today is what if you could only use one to do all the gigs that you do? Okay, so what kind of gigs is it that you do? <laughs> well, there's the, the swing style stuff that we do all the time. Which right. Is, you know, that's my, my, my big box guitar. Right. Which gets that nice snappy snare sound out of mm -hmm. it, you know. Um, and then, you know, I do some like old timey rock and roll, but I also do some more modern rock and roll and some blues and things like that, mm -hmm. which I use my telly or my strat for. Right. And you also got but, that uh, Les Paul Junior, uh, which Les is Paul great Les Paul Junior, and I picked up a, I picked up a Squire Telecaster that gets single, single coil pickups. Okay. Um, which actually does pretty well for a lot of things, but. It's really actually ever... a nicer guitar than it sounds. It is for a squire. <laughs> then you, then you it's, think, it's yeah. one of those, you know, one in ten. That... Yeah, that's a, that really, really good. <laughs> yeah, but haven't had a chance to play it out. With well, it yet. yeah, and, it's COVID. And the um, Les Paul Junior, which is, has a P90 on it, which is great. I love it, but right. haven't had a chance to gig in it yet. Gig on it yet. So. Yeah. So the kinds of music you play. So you would say like the swing stuff, which would be like the Mike I Gents, also. Yeah. You know, in mm -hmm. there. Um, some rock, maybe some blues here and there. Yeah, well, you know, with that with that guitar, I can. It's kind of a hybrid acoustic electric right. guitar, but it I can make it sound like a lot of things. Know, yeah. A lot of things. I can run it through some fuzz and you know. Play yeah, some but if you were playing in a loud band, it would howl it like would crazy. Yeah. Feedback like crazy. Right. right. Exactly. So me, I play. Well, I play some rock. I play the jazz stuff with you, the Mike I. Jans, the Smart Fellers stuff. Um, <clears throat> in addition, I do a lot of pit orchestra work. Um, I play some classical, but that's mostly on tuba. Um, so, oh, and then sometimes you play like background jazz music. Right. You know, we'll do things like that every so often too. So uh, we need to pick one instrument. To do oh, everything man. with. <laughs> right. And this is why you have more than one instrument. It's because they do different things. <laughs> and it's not an excuse to tell the wife. <laughs> right. It's actually, they are multi-use instruments. So Also, the theme of this is, your wife said you can have one guitar. <laughs> your wife said you can have one guitar. Okay. What's it going to be? <laughs> All right. So what's it going to be? So um, let's start with you. Let's... Uh, well, let's get your. As pick. you know, I've agonized over this <laughs> and changed your I, mind a couple I times. I changed my mind a couple times. Uh, I started with. I started with this guitar, uh -huh. but changed my mind. But you changed your mind because uh, if you were going to play loud rock and roll, it would help. It would feedback. Yeah, it so. just it just wouldn't quite do it. It's it's designed. To be an acoustic guitar. Okay, so, but we're not talking about this so, guitar. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like picking one of your, what's your favorite child? <laughs> it's just unfair. I went with this. Okay, tell us about that guitar. <clears throat> this is um, a Telecaster built in Mexico. 72 reissue thin line Telecaster. So it's it's got a... Is it a full hollow body, no, or is no, it it's, it's a, it's uh, just a upper, chambered? Upper part. Okay, chambered. upper chambered. Yeah, this is solid. Solid. Uh, humbuckers. Okay. I mean, these are pretty good sounding pickups, mm -hmm. actually. These are stock. Uh, this is the most versatile guitar that I own. Right. You know? And a lot of people will agree that a Telecaster is probably the... 
A lot of the guitar players would agree with that. Sure. I hope. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's so versatile with, with, with only, you know, the, the pickup switch, three, three-way pickup switch, a volume and a tone knob. You can get a variety of sounds with this guitar. Right, of course. You really so. can. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, all I got going right now is a little bit of reverb. Okay, so this is just totally clean. Yeah. I'm going through this Tweed Deluxe, and actually I'm running stereo through a Strymon reverb. We're not recording in stereo though, so sorry. <laughs> we are. We are. We're recording in stereo. Hear it? <laughs> it's okay. like a cooking show when you can't taste the food. <laughs> Alright, so well, I can get a jazz, a nice you jazz. You can get a nice sound. jazz sound. So, so how about like we were explaining in our last video about um, grooving? Uh, you were doing the the, the, yeah. the swing comp. Let's hear a little of that on that guitar. That, that works. That mm -hmm. works fine. Yeah, just roll the treble back a little bit. I'm on the neck pickup. Uh -huh. uh, gives a nice, rich, warm, round sound. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Okay, so there's that. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, you know, there's the blues. You know. No, you didn't really change anything. I did roll you, the you, treble up a little bit. All right, you brought some treble up. But you're still on the neck pickup. Um, and so, uh, and then I can go in the middle, and... So you know, it's got a little more bite. Country twang, a little bit more treble That's in there. both pickups on now? That's both pickups. Okay, is that a five position switch or three? Three. That's three? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh... What do I know? So, <laughs> you know, um, so a little bit of country, a little rock and roll in there, um, and then, um... And this is the rear pickup. This is the back. Pretty twangy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good twangy country kind of tone there, too. Yeah. Which, I mean, I always associated Telecasters with country music. Yeah, but... But, you know, as I... As I Expanded my horizons. I kept. I started seeing them elsewhere, mm -hmm. and uh, came to learn that yeah, they they can do pretty much anything. And you can do like say if you want to get an overdrive or something going on there. Let's hear something like that. Okay. Um. It's got to turn around and punch buttons. <laughs> It can rock out. And that's um, on both pickups. Yeah. Yeah. sound like an overdrive but it'll do fuzz <laughs> uh, anyway yeah. the point is it'll rock it'll it'll jazz, it'll, jazz. <laughs> <laughs> it'll swing it'll country yeah it'll so do anything it's 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 a really versatile guitar and nice to play and it's nice to carry it's really comfortable to play yeah it's balanced yeah, it's and small looks good looks good uh what else can i say about it Okay, so That's my friend, so we can sell the rest of your guitars. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my turn? It's your turn. What do you okay, got? Okay, cool. I have got my Yamaha Electric. Now, I mentioned that I also have two upright basses and I have three tubas, and then a bunch of electric basses. Uh, this one is. Probably the one I can do most stuff on. Um, it's a uh, Yamaha. What the hell? I 
am horrible with model numbers. It's a BBG5S. So it's a five-string bass with a low B. Um, it's, you know, <laughs> place old old jazz swing music on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, you know, it's... Um, it's not an upright bass. No, but could you, you know? dial it up to make it sound a little more like that? Or? Is that, well, is that the tone you I, yeah, I kind of did that because it's active. It tends to, well, I mean, if you have everything flat, um, both pickups on. Pretty trebly, huh? It, it, it's growly. Yeah. It's got, a, it's got a, a, a heck of a growl to it. So if I roll off a little bit of the treble and actually probably roll it up a bit to the front pickup. pickup for jazz uh i've got it i've got it on there because um Was there's that? there's all front pickup and also if you move upwards that's a that's a big technique for bass players is where do you play um you get more different tone from yeah. there so that's a big part of playing bass is where exactly you're plucking the strings I tend to play right here for most stuff. Yeah, and pickup choice. And I mean, I, I never use the bridge pickup for jazz. Yeah, well... It's just much too bright. I do, but otherwise it just sort of tends to just sort of... It doesn't have enough attack. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I, I, I like... It's sort of like... Say, you've got a pickup switch, so right. it's one or the you other. You don't. You have to roll them back. And mine's, forth. mine's more like a pan knob. Yeah. So I, I roll it about 50% up okay. towards this. So I've got this down just a bit. So 75%, 25%. Okay. Think of it that way. Sure. And I'm plucking kind of far back. This is sort of the sweet spot of the bass, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. Um, oh, that sounds more jazzy there. Yeah, exactly. So you're plucking in the middle of the string a little yeah. bit further. Uh -huh. So that makes a difference. So, but for rock and roll, I will tend to, um, you know, just basically keep it flat. And, um, so you're fifty percent on both. Yeah, pickups. yeah, they're both full on. <clears throat> um, and the treble knob has actually got a lot to do with it. You get, get that 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 grindy tone out of it. And um, another reason that I like to use this bass for pretty much everything. I use this for my pit orchestra work. Some pit orchestra electric bass parts actually do call for a five string. Ah. I've, I, you know, you get low C's and D's a lot in pit orchestra work, so you kind of have to have it. And one of the modifications I did, these, I put on there. They're actually it's glow in the dark tape, <laughs> because uh, orchestra pits are really dark. Yeah, <laughs> you can get lost because you got your attention on your on your sheet music, and you got your attention on the conductor, and then you got your attention on your bass, and you just can't see the fret markers in the in the dark pits. Mm -hmm. So that's why I have that there. Um, so it's a really versatile instrument because it does have active electronics. Yeah. So you can really dial it up if you, you bump the bo bottom end. There's a lot of bass on that. Yeah. So, um. Almost to the point of being woofy. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, and unlike an upright, um, you know, I, you know, upright to play pizzicato or play upright slap, but this, you know, you've got the pizzicato like normal. Slap and pop is available, and if I was any good at it, you could use a pick with it. So with a minimum of equipment, you know, a guitar pick, you've got three different tones right. that you can get out of it. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of why... And it's way more portable than an upright. <laughs> <laughs> There's that too, yeah. You can move it around a lot easier, but... You can't play it acoustically. No, that's the only thing. Yeah, so that's, know, that's, that's the hard part. That's kind of, you know, when we first started with this subject, I was like, well, I'd like it, uh, you know, to be able to play it acoustically, too. That's even a, another thing. Yeah. You know, another style, you know. Like jam acoustically. <laughs> and you're still going to get in the restaurant or going, you guys are too loud. My amp is off. 
<laughs> That's so, happened. <laughs> it has happened. Yeah, I, I've done that. Playing, a, playing my upright. Then just turn the amp off. You guys are loud. <sighs> so there we have it. So That's our, another subject. Our, <laughs> yeah, our personal picks, if we had to only have one instrument, it would be these. Thank God we don't. Right. Don't tell our wives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so there we go. Once again, my name's Alan Parks. I'm Mark Larson. And we are the, the Smart Fellers. <laughs> <laughs> we would like you to hit like, and we would like you to hit subscribe. And isn't there a bell? The ringy dingy. <laughs> Ringy dingy. I'm trying to come up with my own, you know. Okay. Instead of the smash the. Smash the. All right. Yeah. So that's enough. Maybe it'll catch on. Tune in next time. <laughs> <laughs>